Hello and welcome to this webinar. My name is Jakob Kowalski and today we will go through export of a road model to IFC. So the agenda is this. First, we will add generic attributes to a road model and export this to IFC as property sets. Then we will add classifications to the road model and also export this as property sets. So here we have a model in Quadri and I will start by selecting the road task and edit it. In settings here, you have generic attributes and this is where you can add generic attributes to this task. So I've already done this. I've called the generic attributes with the name of the attribute here first. This is a text string and then the value. So when we just click something here, then you can also see those generic attributes in the properties here. So now let's export this to IFC. So you go to output, export to file. Let's call this export IFC generic attributes. On selection here, you select the road model. You select the file format to be IFC and then click select rules under conversion. A good tip here is to take a copy of one of the existing conversion rules, for instance, road to IFC, as this already contains a lot of information. So you click copy. You can call it wherever you want. So in the conversion rule editor, you click view attributes conversion per feature. And then just click one of these active rows here. For instance, structure layer. Now scroll down to property set data list. And here you first select generic property list. And then you will get a drop down menu here with all the generic properties here. So start by MMI. And you want to export this with first the name of the property set and then the attribute names. So here you can write title field, then a vertical line, the button on the keyboard just under escape, and then the name of the attribute in that property set. So for instance, you can write like this. Now you can also do that for all the other generic properties. So here, first click one of the property set data list rows. Then you will have this active to add generic property row. When finished, click OK. You select this rule when you are exporting and finish. So you save it on your computer. And now to view this IFC file, you need an external IFC viewing program. So here I'm using Solibri Model Viewer. So I click open model and I select the IFC file. And here 
we have this road. And if you now click something here, you will then see this property set made called title field and the attributes here. As standard, the conversion rule also has this Nova point road defined. So we'll also get these attributes unless you, of course, remove them from the conversion rule. So we will now export to IFC with classifications. So again, go to output, export to file, call this, for instance, export IFC classification. You select the features, so the road model here. Select the IFC file format and then go to settings. So here you need to have this use field codes turned on here because as you see, when it is turned on, you can also access this part of the settings called field codes. So here you click add and first you see the code and here you will also see a little preview of how this will be exported. So this is the code, but we click add again and then also export the description. And when you see it like this, perhaps it's a little difficult to read. So you can also use prefix and postfix. For instance, an underscore after code. But also if you would like to export this as two different attributes, then you need to here add and field code delimiter. And this, you click move up, so it's placed between these two code and description. Then it will look like this. So here you can also remove the postfix. Now click OK, go to select rules, and then you edit the conversion rule you made earlier. Go to view attributes conversion per feature. Just click one of these active rows. So here you see the classification that was made earlier, which you could see with the property set called Nova Point Road. But here now you need to change this to your new name for the property set. So here, let's call this V770 vertical line and code and the same for description. And these two last here, you can just remove. Like this. So now you finish the export. You select this conversion rule and finish. You save it on your computer with the desired name. And lastly, you open this IFC file in your IFC viewing program. So when you now click here, you first see the title field, which was made earlier, but also V770. So here you see both code and the description.